Good evening and welcome to Holden Evening Prayer and our Lenten midweek service. We're glad that you're worshiping with us this evening. We will be doing parts of Holden Evening Prayer and you will see the singing parts coming up on your screen. We will be beginning with the procession and then moving on to the um, evening Thanksgiving. Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. The light of darkness Stay with us now, for it is evening. And the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness. the 
Come before you, O oh God, as incense, and may your presence surround and fill us, so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. Amen. Our reading from scripture comes from the second chapter of Luke. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. We are continuing in our trail of trees and so today we hear the story of the three trees. Once upon a mountaintop, three tr little trees stood and dreamed of what they wanted to become when they grew up. The first tree looked up and set up at the stars and said, I want to hold treasure. I want to be covered with gold and filled with precious stones. I'll be the most beautiful treasure chest in the world. The second little tree looked out at a small stream trickling by on its way to the ocean. I want to be traveling mighty waters and carrying powerful kings. I'll be the strongest ship in the world. The third little tree looked down into the valley below where busy men and women worked in a busy town. I don't want to leave the mountaintop at all. I want to grow so tall that when people stop to look at me, they'll raise their eyes to heaven and think of God. I will be the tallest tree in the world. Years passed, the rain came, the sun shone, and the little trees grew tall. One day, three woodcutters climbed the mountain. The first woodcutter looked at the first tree and said, this tree is beautiful, it's perfect for me. With a swoop of his shining ax, the first tree fell. Now I shall be made into a beautiful chest. I shall hold wonderful treasures, said the first tree. The second woodcutter looked at the second tree and said, this tree is strong, it's perfect for me. With a swoop of his shining ax, the second tree fell. Now I shall sail mighty waters, thought the second tree. I shall be a strong ship for mighty kings. The third tree felt her heart sink when the last woodcutter looked her way. She stood straight and tall and pointed bravely to heaven but the woodcutter never even looked up. Any kind of tree will do for me, he muttered. With a swoop of his shining ax, the third tree fell. The first tree rejoiced when the woodcutter brought her to a carpenter's shop, but the carpenter fashioned the tree into a feed box for animals. The once beautiful tree was not covered with gold nor with a treasure. She was coated with sawdust and filled with hay for hungry farm animals. The second tree smiled when the woodcutter took her to a shipyard, but no mighty sailing ships was made that day. Instead, the once strong tree was hammered and sawed into a simple fishing boat. She was too small and too weak to sail on the ocean or even a river. Instead, she was taken to a lake. The third tree was confused when the woodcutter 
cut her into strong beams and left her in the wood yard. What happened? The once tall tree wondered. All I ever wanted was to stay on the mountaintop and point to God. Many, many days and nights passed. The three trees nearly forgot their dreams. But one night, golden starlight poured over the first tree as a young woman placed her newborn baby in the feed box. I wish I could make a cradle for him, her husband whispered. The mother squeezed his hand and smiled as the starlight shone on the smooth and sturdy wood. This manger is beautiful, she said. And suddenly the first tree knew he was holding the greatest treasure in the world. One evening, a tired traveler and his friends crowded into the old fishing boat. The traveler fell asleep as the second tree quietly sailed out into the lake. Soon, a thundering and thrashing storm arose. The little tree shuddered. She knew she did not have the strength to carry so many passengers safely through the wind and rain. The tired man awakened. He stood up, stretched out his hand, and said, Peace. The storm stopped as quickly as it had begun. And suddenly the second tree knew he was carrying the king of heaven and earth. On Friday morning, the third tree was startled when her beams were yanked from the forgotten woodpile. She flinched as she was carried through an angry, jeering crowd. She shuddered when soldiers nailed a man's hands to her. She felt ugly and harsh and cruel. But on Sunday morning, when the sun rose and the earth trembled with joy beneath her, the third tree knew that God's love had changed everything. It had made the third tree strong. And every time people thought of the third tree, they would think of God. That was better than being the tallest tree in the world. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Continue with the litany and prayers. Keep watch. 
watch on our loved ones and keep us from danger. Great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Father, our Father in heaven, in heaven hallowed, hallowed be your name. name. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come, come, your will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Give us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and to deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Now and forever. Amen. Let us bless our God. Praise and bless the Lord. May God create forth in peace in the name of Christ.